London, owner of Linus Fitness. Mm -hmm. And um, I brought her in today because um, she's very inspirational. Um, she does a lot of fitness, a lot of travel. Um, she has a lot of energy. I just asked her, could I borrow <laughs> some of it sometimes? Because I don't know where she gets it from. But, you know what I mean? But um, she's very inspirational. I thought she would be good person to talk to for this channel as we continue to want to inspire folks to be the best that they can be um so london yes thank you for being here today thank you for inviting me so how are you feeling today i'm feeling well i'm nice and hyper and energetic <laughs> and thanking god i'm alive okay okay well london tell us a little bit about yourself give us a little history about london all right so my name is london johnson and I was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. Yay. Okay, yeah. Ravens, Be more. Orioles. Yeah. Be more, <laughs> make some noise. Hey. And um, I went to the different schools here, mm -hmm. Western High School, Yes Girls, okay. uh, Roland Park, and the colleges, Towson University, University of Maryland. So basically stayed in the same area. What's your education background, if you don't mind me asking? Okay, so um, my... AA, because I started at the Baltimore City Community College, okay. is, in, is in um, humanities. Okay. My Bachelor of Arts degree is in business management with okay. a minor in German, because yes, I do speak fluent German. Oh, nice, and nice. And I do speak two other languages as well, okay. Spanish and Italian. Okay. And my, un, my um, master's degree is in contracts and procurement, because that's what I do the other job that I do, the real the, job the, that the I do. The main job, huh? Yes. The pays all yes, the bills. The, the main the real bills. Okay, okay. So, yes. Um, so, that's what my degree is in, my master's degree. Cool, cool. Okay. So, um, how did you get into fitness? Wow. When I was in middle school, mm -hmm. um, I didn't do it for long, but I did run track. So, I thought that would be interesting for me. Okay. Um, then kind of spilled over to high school at Western High School. I was a major rep in the school van. Okay. So that, that takes a lot of endurance and a coordination with the baton and everything like that. Indeed. And then as an adult, just seeing different people do personal training and everything, and I just kept up with it because I was like, you know, I want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I want to, you know, as a young lady, you want to look a certain way as right, well. Right, right. So... That's how I got into health and wellness. And I had really good trainers as okay, well. Okay, okay. Um, so, I mean, what would you, how would you, or how would you say, what would you tell folks about fitness? Like, how important is fitness to, should be in per, an everyday person's life? How important should they consider their fitness and their health? Well, fitness is very important because mm -hmm. we're not meant to just be sedentary. Now, okay. if you have health issues or... Um, Issues where you're immobile, that's different. But if you don't have those issues, mm -hmm. we're supposed to move our bodies. We're supposed to take care of our insides. Then our outsides will will speak for ourselves, so to say. But it's very important. You feel better. Yeah. You're more energetic. That's true. You sleep better. Yep. Your mind, because we it's not just physical fitness, it's mental fitness as well. Mm -hmm. And spiritual fitness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yoga for the spirit and, and mm -hmm. for the mental and also for the physical. So um, we have to take care of our bodies, and yeah. it's in God's word. Amen. We have to take care of our yes. bodies. Yes, amen. <laughs> uh, one thing I always try to tell folks to mm. um, to do, I say I always try to, be, you should try to develop yourself from a hol um, around holistic standpoint. Where, um, like I said, I, I, I read for my mind yes. to keep my mind strong. Yes. Um, I, I'm involved in church, and I read the Bible, and I meditate for my spirit. Yes. And then obviously you work out for your physical mm -hmm. because what's the purpose of having a strong body mm -hmm. and a weak mind? Right. Or what's That's the purpose right. of having a, a, a strong mind but a weak, weak body? body? Right. So you want a, a holistic um, development, you know. And um, so let me ask you this. Is, is, is fitness um, something, is it, a, is it a lifestyle or 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 would you, like we a lot of these folks consider fitness to be like they make these New Year's resolutions <laughs> Well, how would you say for you? Is it a lifestyle or like something you got to do, whatever? Or you? Well, we all have free will. We all yeah. have a choice. Yeah. But to me, mm -hmm. fitness is a lifestyle. Yeah. Because, again, if I'm working out for a month and I'm eating healthy and I'm physically working out 
and I'm, I'm mentally working out, yeah. so to say, mm -hmm. and I just stop, then things can start happening. Right. My bones become weak. Um, I'm stressed out. Yeah. And all of a sudden I'm having indigestion or something mm -hmm. else because I'm putting really bad food in my body. Right. So it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Um, it's funny you say that because I have a, um, a cousin. Mm -hmm. He's 49 mm -hmm. and he just had a triple bypass wow. and he's lived a very unfit, unhealthy lifestyle. Wow. And, and he will always make these new year's resolutions, but never stick to them. Mm -hmm. um, so how, how would you, what would you recommend? What would your recommendation to be someone who has a sedentary lifestyle? They may be a little older and they just can't seem to get themselves motivated. Like how would you tell them to start? How would they start? Because obviously you have a very, um, your, 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 um, your bounce, your boots, all that <laughs> stuff we're going to talk about. Um, you're very energetic mm -hmm. type. And it's not for the beginner, you know. Right. They have to have some type of fitness to go to one of your classes and work their way up. So what would you tell a person who's the beginner? Like how would they start and, and stick with it? Right. Well, first of all, it's good to have an accountability partner mm -hmm. with you and somebody that's going to motivate you and not, you need to work out. You, you look terrible or, <laughs> uh, or, or you, you don't sleep well and your skin looks horrible and things like that. That's, that's not effective with people. Um, I've seen trainers do that. You know, you're fat, you have this, mm -hmm. and that is not effective. If anything, people will shut down. Yeah. How I do it. I like to motivate people. I would invite them. I said, come on, let's go for a walk. Yep. Let's start out yep. slow. Yep. You don't have to start out bouncing and jumping off the walls like I do. <laughs> Cause Hey, I didn't start jumping off the walls initially. Yeah, yeah. So it's motivating people and being positive positive. Yeah. and yeah. just explaining, you know, why it's important to work out. Yeah. And I get it all the time. I'm 52 years old. What? So, yes. I thought, I thought you were 25. <laughs> hey honey, I'm proud to be 52. <laughs> you look good. You look Thank really you. good. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we, I explained to them, look, we're not getting any younger. Right. We have more time behind us than in front of us. I always say so, that. Yes. Like more years behind me than in front of me. <laughs> yes. So I, I love being accountability partners to people. Yeah. And we yeah. just start off slow. Good. And, and let's walk. Walking is good. Yeah. And then um, we just do other things. And you'll, and you'll see that they're like, oh, well, let's try this exercise or let's try that. And they become motivated. Yeah. Um, one thing I like about you, London, um, and I've been following you, um, like a lot of folks, they, they, they figure they have to look a certain way. Right. If I don't have the six pack, if I'm not 110 pounds and, <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, and, and a lot of folks feel ashamed of their body. Huh. But, you know, I follow some of your folks on your classes and I see folks, some of them look a little healthier than others. <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, but they are energetic and, and they don't mind. You know, I mean, you're built to look a certain way. We all wish we can, but God made you who you are. Your right. body's what you've been given. Now, I'm not saying you, okay, I'm heavy, so I'm going to be a slob. No, you know, I'm a bigger guy, but you can still be fit. That's true. Right. So, you know what I mean? How do you, especially with women, you know, right. how do you, how do you encourage women? Cause Hey, you ain't, gonna, every woman ain't going to be five to 105 right. pounds looking like a model on these magazines. Right. So they figure I can't go into fitness cause I don't have that look. What would you tell somebody who's, what would you tell them? I am so glad you brought that up. Yeah. One of the things that as an instructor that I do not tolerate is body shaming. Yeah. And I try because society mm -hmm. has made people, period, not just women, but men too. Yep, yep, men um, too. Feel that you have to look a certain way mm -hmm. or you have to be this size in order to be healthy or whatever the case may be. Society has really mentally messed up people. There are people out there killing themselves, yeah. working out, not seeing results, or not eating properly. Right. Um, because they, they either starving themselves on these weird, fad diets yep. and they're messing up the insides more than anything. Right. So again, I talk to women cause I'm always, Oh, I, I'm always hearing, Oh, I wish I had your shoulders. Oh, I wish I had your, <laughs> right, right. but <laughs> you know, or different things. Especially like the that. butt part. Cause yeah. these, nowadays everybody buying these butts. I'm oh, like, my boy. Lord. And mine is, is natural. And look, so. I, I, I know you probably yeah. get, they, I'm not trying to digress. Do you ever mm -hmm. get asked 
Oh, do God. people always like, is that real? Or? Yes, I do get asked a lot. Um, <laughs> like, we get you real. a we get it done at. And it is, <laughs> it is a little offensive, but that's just what society that's yeah, what yeah. society's doing nowadays. But I like to talk yeah. to women and let them know that, first of all, God made all of us unique and made all of us beautiful. Yes, he did. And when we're not disciplined and when mm -hmm. we don't go by his word and take care of our bodies, mm -hmm. like we're supposed to, Yes, it is going to look a certain way. Right, right. Just because you're thinner doesn't mean you're healthier. Yes, indeed. I know some, some unhealthy, unhealthy thin, thin people. Thin people. Yeah. And of course, I know healthy, larger, larger people. framed yeah. people. Yeah. And people have to get out of all this body shaming. So I do talk to women and I try to encourage them, work on yourself. And we're all shaped differently. Some yep. people don't have the broad. I, and it's funny. I used to get teased about my shoulders. They used to call me football shoulders in middle school. <laughs> now everybody wants <laughs> them. Right. You know? Me. So we're, we're shaped differently, and that, yeah. that's beautiful. It is. It is. So I just try to tell everybody, you are beautiful. Just work on the inside of you, mm -hmm. on being healthy inside. Yeah. Because when you work on that inside, your outside will show. It will. You may not be, who says being 120 pounds is the epitome of beauty? Exactly. It is not. It is not. Being 190 yeah. pounds is the epitome of beauty. Nowadays, you have people wanting to be quote unquote thick. Yeah, and my what, lord. What 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 really saddens me as a fitness instructor is when I see other fitness instructors body shaming people and saying you should look like this or right, they, right. they're showing pictures of plus size women or whatever size women and saying you need to hurry up and come to the gym because unless and you're going to look like this. That really saddens me. Yeah. And I'm like, you're not going to be a successful fitness instructor if you keep on with this mentality. Right, right. So. Good, good. Mm -hmm. um, so talk to us a little about what, what types of um, fitness routines you have. Like tell us about London Lioness <laughs> Fitness. <laughs> okay, so as far as um, my business, mm -hmm. I do dance fitness. Um, I do all kinds of international dancing. Mm -hmm from hip hop to Caribbean dancing, African, Latin dancing, the Park Heights stra, you know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got to get my Baltimore the Park up Heights, they're like my boy. Yes. The Cherry Hill uh, dance. The Cherry Hill, right, yeah. right. No, you got to say it right, honey. You too proper. Cherry Hill. You know, we got to put our Baltimore <laughs> dialect in it. But yeah, Trying so. Trying to keep it clean for the can. You're right, though. But yeah, yep, so, yep. But yeah so I do dance fitness. Mm -hmm. um, I also do what's called Kangoo Jumps Dance and Kangoo Jumps Boot Camp. And that's the rebound boots that you see me bouncing and jumping yep. on. What would you recommend? What would your recommendation to be someone who has a sedentary lifestyle? They may be a little older, and they just can't seem to get themselves motivated. Like, how would you tell them to start? How would they start? Because obviously, you have a very um, your 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 your, your, um, your bounce your boots and all that <laughs> stuff we're gonna talk about. Um, you're very energetic mm -hmm. type, and it's not for the beginner. You know. Right. They have to have some type of fitness to go to one of your classes and work their way up. So what would you tell a person who's the beginning? Like, how would they start and, and stick with it? Right. Well, first of all, it's good to have an accountability partner mm -hmm. with you and somebody that's going to motivate you and not, you need to work out. You, you look terrible or, <laughs> uh, or, or you, you don't sleep well and your skin looks horrible and things like that. That's, that's not effective with people. Um, I've seen trainers do that. You're, you're fat. You're this. Mm -hmm. And that is not effective. If anything, people will shut down. Yeah. How I do it, I like to motivate people. I would invite them. I said, come on, let's go for a walk. Yep. Let's start out yep. slow. Yep. You don't have to start out bouncing and jumping off the walls like I do. Because, <laughs> hey, I didn't start jumping off the walls initially. Yeah, yeah. So it's motivating people and being positive. Yeah. And yeah. just explaining, you know, why it's important to work out. I just try to tell everybody, you are beautiful. Just work on the inside of you, mm -hmm. on being. Talk to us about these festivals that you, you've, you've been <laughs> participating in. Um, these, what, the Caribbean festivals, African? Yeah, it's different types of festivals. Okay. Um, whew, I love to travel, as you know. Tell us some of the places you've been to. Okay. So I've been... All over the world, meaning <laughs> okay. I've been to Italy, Greece, mm -hmm. Turkey. I've been to the Middle East, uh, Emirates and non-Emirates, meaning wow. Dubai, Qatar, wow. Bahrain, Abu Dhabi, Serbani Yas. Um, been to Africa, and that's my favorite. Okay. I, I love Africa. Of course, I've been to the Caribbean. 
St. Vincent and the Grenadines, all, wow. of, all of them, it, Ber, Bermuda, a whole bunch of them. But um, Africa is my favorite. Okay. I actually just came back from Sierra Leone, West Africa, okay. Freetown, Sierra Leone. I did a festival there. It was called the Afro-Caribbean Festival. And I did teach classes there, um, rebound classes. I didn't mm -hmm. do my dance fitness classes. Okay. But um, I do have a group, a bounce group that I that comes with me, not too much um, abroad yet, but they do different things around town with me. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Pam and Kim and okay. Mia that's in my group. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for coming with me when I need you. <laughs> we do parades. We did the Juneteenth parade. Okay. We did the Reister's Town parade that okay. we have here every year. Yeah. So um, these festivals are fun. They're good exposure and not just good exposure for the Lioness Fitness business, but also for the programs that I do, such as dance fitness okay. and the Kangoo Jumps Dance and Kangoo Jumps Boot Camp okay. programs. Toppy, how many countries have you been to? <laughs> Toppy, <Tommy>, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would say because I'm, I'm of course I'm um, including Caribbean, yeah, yeah. probably over 20 wow. or 25. My goodness. My goal is to of course, I want to go to South America. I haven't been to South America yet, which I will be going next year to okay. Honduras. And um, my goal is to hit all 54 countries that's safe in Africa, in the continent. Wow. Yes. And I would love to bring the Kangoo Jumps Dance and Kangoo Jumps Boot Camp program there. Okay. When I was in South Africa and I did the program, they loved it. And I would love to bring it to Sierra Leone as well. Okay. So. And, and obviously you bring it to Baltimore. Yes, I do. Um, actually, the influence comes from Mia. Okay. Mia Cofield. She is the first person to bring it to Baltimore as well as to Maryland. Okay. And I was looking at Mia with the stink eye and side eye when she first asked me <laughs> <laughs> to become an instructor. I've always done it with her since like 2014. She's the first, yeah. you know, she's like, come on, London. You got, I was like, girl, I got a bad hip. But I did it, <laughs> and I fell in love with it. And, of course, the benefits of it. Yeah. If you have joint issues, it's good on your joints. Okay. I do have, I mean, just to see me dance or bounce, you would never think. But I do have Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I sit there, uh, I mean, <laughs> I've seen you before. you like, man, my hips hurt. I'm like, how do you be jumping like that and yeah. bouncing? And we'll put some of them videos in here for folks to get mm -hmm. an idea of some of these fitness routines you do. But it's, it's, very, it's a very dynamic Mm -hmm. energetic routine but i tell folks you know um there's no reason there's just no reason that they shouldn't start off start a fit lifestyle you especially know? if they don't have any major health issues that's the big consult with your doctor definitely right make of sure. course yeah, always absolutely. consult your doctor yeah. well linda uh, we thank you for your time and again um i'll everything she's mentioned about her life her um her youtube channels mm -hmm. her ig her facebook and her website I would put that all into this into this interview, so you'll see it as well as you gave it to us, and um, and definitely reach out to her, you know, and she she's definitely a person who's inspirational, who likes to help other folks and yes. help other people succeed yes. in life, and she's somebody I would recommend that you know, if you see this video, um, reach <laughs> out to her and and <laughs> and get started, whether you're in Baltimore or you're in Africa. So again, we thank you for your time, London. We thank you for um taking time and sharing with us and um, and inspiring our viewers to go out there and live their best lifestyle. Thank you. And I do want to add in yes. that I do pop-up classes as well. Um, and I do like a ladies night out or I did a ladies what? birthday bash okay. for, um, it was like five ladies and they do this nice birthday club type um, mm -hmm. like activities and everything. And one of their activities that they did was my, my class they hired me to do uh kangoo jumps dance and kangoo jumps boot camp with okay them. and they love the boots they had a good awesome. time so awesome. i do different things like that awesome so and hopefully we'll inspire somebody to reach out to you and and add to lioness fitness as you continue <laughs> <laughs> as you continue to inspire so okay. thank you london for your time appreciate All right, thank it. you i appreciate it you got it bye